Everyone loves Soul Rank, but the only format we can really play it in is Commander. And Commander requires friends, which is a problem, because Daddy keeps scaring those away with orphan jokes. So how do we play Soul Ring while still making orphan jokes? Luckily, there's Enema Jewel. Even better than Soul Ring if we hit our heads hard enough, although it does under tap, and we can only use the mana for activate abilities. But it can also copy abilities, which is pretty gangster. To make Enema Jewel worth it, we have a lot of activate abilities, like Shark Typhoon, which we can cycle to make a token. That means if we play Enema Jewel on turn one, on turn two, we can cycle Shark Typhoon, but make a 2 who flyer and draw a card. But it gets even kinkier. With Lazab, where are feces? When it attacks, we exile a card from graveyard and create a clue token. And we can activate that clue token with Enema Jewel. And then Lazab can become a copy of creature that it exiled. As for another activate ability, there's Night of the Ebon Legion, which we can pay 3 to pump, giving death cut, and it can even gain counters. But of course, there's more activate abilities. We have Talking to Moon to Dig, Oduar to Bounce, and the Man Land Hive to Animate, as well as Moon Vault. We also have Kalidus with Fetus, that makes tokens on our opponent's creatures die. And we can pay three to buff it. But perhaps the most interesting part of the deck, we're leaning into vampires. All the cool kids are playing Vayner for a Soren. Ever since it won the Pro Tour, using Soren to put a vampire from our hand into play, like Vayner Ripper, which when our opponent targets it, they must sacrifice a creature. And whenever anything goes to Jesus, we drain our opponent for two. And as a backup vampire, we have Preacher of the Tism, which knocks out tokens and draws us cards. So even though we're primarily about activated abilities, we still have enough room to spare for vampires, mainly because we have so many lands with activated abilities. Now for Cyborg, we have Great. Favorite hate, grindy hate, storm hate, weenie hate, big creature hate, five can hate, and no creature hate, but as a deck. And now off we go to see it in action. Opening hands, okay, we'll keep the hosses. We'll take their board wipe and leave them with counter. Let's all cross, perfect. Our opponent holds the counter and passes. Individual cross. We'll first swing and investigate. Play individual. It hits, how wonderful. And our opponent cycles to draw. A opponent plays main land. And we'll draw another creature. Using the power of enema. And we hive. Swing. And our opponent must be devastated. My whole field around. So I want for Hive. We'll first draw. Fighting Knight, okay. We'll swing and make another clue. I want to hex it. Play Knight. But there goes our main land. Might as well draw. Another Knight for us. Now, board wipe. That's okay. But it's time for creature. And another Knight. Uh oh. It's Big to Fairy. Strong on the card return. And I'm tapping two lands. Very risky. Oh, we can push for lethal here. So that's what we'll do. Both Knight once. And twice. And victory is ours. So I want to game two. So I want to game two. So I want to game two. Opening hand's pretty good. We're gonna keep. We'll set up with Anima. The horn passes. We'll hold up Sharknado. Opponent draws and investigates. The horn passes, but with the power of Enema, we make a shark. We'll swing. And then duress. Oh, removal. And it's a little tricky. We definitely want to take out the fairy, but not because he's black. And deluge. And we must remember they have counter. The horn passes. Another was all for us. And we hive. Oh, opponent draws out of sadness. And takes all the deluge. And we'll pass. The horn passes. Another vein ripper. Oh, this like last turn. And we hive. Uh oh. Opponent draws. And takes three. Oh, we play the Squire Land and passes. More land for us. We play Lazav. Opponent tries to counter. We'll play three. And they counter again. Good for them. Opponent plays Nasty in our set. Ooh, digging for Emperor. Setting off our card draw. Emperor's pretty tricky. As bad as this feels. Play Lazav. And pretty sure. Shall removal. Although it does give us two maps. Oh no! Their Nar set finds the fairy. And they have field ruin. Map on pretty sure to draw. Another map for a land. Play Lily. The force is card. But because of Emperor, we must pass. Opponent's Surprise, hard draw from our opponent. They animate the main land and they beat Lily. How sexist. Force this card again. Play Vaynerper. Vaynerper hits. And we'll try to play with their hits. One pair of pants later. And victory is ours. And now to the next Pinking. Opening hand, terrible mole. Still pretty stanky. But we'll keep. And it looks like we're up against Phoenix. We'll Hossies. And Phoenix it is. We'll take Borrow and pass. More land. We'll play Knight. And then pass back. We'll push Shredder. They dig, but we'll push it. And pretty sure perfect. Although they do have lightning axe in hand, which is a real uh, stinky. So how about instead? We'll walk for night, giving it a counter. I'll come dig some more, and draw three cards. And now they lightning axe. This guarding phoenix, which we'll get back here. Need vault, play free and pass. They hard cast phoenix, and spank us for sex. The only person allowed to spank us is my sister. We'll fist them back for five, but they attack us again down to three. Oh, another land. Yep, they have us. So on against two. Good against the turn turn two. Opening hand totally socks Moles. Now oh, this also sucks, but we'll keep. We'll do rest. And geez, I thought our hand was bad. We'll take the card draw. More land for us. Oh, digs. And they find the land. And so do we. Might as well play Soren. One passes. And damage spirit will take it. With fire impulse in their hand, we don't want to animate me to vault. At least not yet. Play damping sphere. And let's see if our opponent bounces anything. Indeed, they bounce Soren. Opponent draws some more. But then passes and oh, Kalita seems pretty good. We'll play it. And then we'll pass. And opponent plays Pyromancer. 
to make weenies and the cast stuff. Oh, look at this. Play Soren. Putting out Vayner first. Unit for three. And then we'll pass. Crackling Drake. Maybe it's buff fighting some sorceries. Raise your frost. How about we animate me to vault? Activate Soren. Will they respond? They do. So we'll animate our second Muta Vault. And now it's for the Muta Vault. It's about to go to Jesus. We'll sack it to Kali this. And now it's our second Muta Vault. We'll do three damage of Pyromancer. Fabulous. We'll swing like this. Opponent chomps. Plays another Pyromancer. Draws like a token. Opponent passes out of sadness. And now it's tragically for our opponent. Play pre-search. Pack it to Soren. And we'll be full. So we must settle things in a three. We're getting a third swing. We'll settle on a second three. Opening hands really good. We're in a keep. And the cost is even more perfect. We'll take their prankster so they can't mill. We'll put out damage here. Opponent passes. Oh, and that's not the land we need. Fine, we'll duress. And a second Arc like Phoenix at hand. So we'll be able to hard cast it on their turn. Like that. But now it's Horn time. Playing Vayner first. On draws. No, oh, Lightning Axe. So we trade creatures and drain them for four. But on the right side, we'll play this off. So we can exile the graveyard. Opponent mills and digs. Finding nothing, how wonderful. We'll swing a close off. Exile Phoenix. And playing creatures. I bet our opponent's feeling pretty pregnant right now. They play Phoenix number two. We we'll take out our Soren. Most we'll tragically. Crack a clue. And then Fatal Push. Exile the Phoenix. And Shark Typhoon Frost. Opponent draws out of sadness. They draw some more. Oh, but removal. Emptying their hand. Land Frost. We'll first draw. And then off. But for now, play Soren. And after learning the definition of Bukake, our opponent concedes. So now to the next banking. Opening hand could be really good if we just draw one more land. So we're gonna keep. And our opponent's a spirit deck. Ooh, that's not a land. Okay, play Knight. We pick one. Oh, jeez. Swing for one. And we'll toss these them. They have spell call to counter. And wedding announcement to not out tokens. We'll take announcement. Opponent plays a lord. And come on, land for daddy. The land will take it. We'll bluff and swing. Opponent takes it. We take two. We'll draw. Finding another shark typhoon. And fatal push. That's not a land. So we'll pass. Opponent swings. We'll try and draw out the spell caller. With fatal push. That worked. And please land for daddy. There's a land. Play Soren. Oh, probably should attack first. But how can we think straight if we're so erect? Our opponent fondles our hand. But a little late for that. And our opponent agrees. The game's what it is. So in game two, something racist happened. Our opponent played Katilda with lifelink and protection from vampires. So tragically, game two goes to our opponent. And now it's on game three. Opening hand could be good. But without another land, we can't play those off. I suppose we'll risk it. Opponent's Wanderer. We'll push it. Pretty sure okay. And as bad as this feels, we'll name shape to the cavern to put out those off. Oh my, opponent passes. And there's a land. We'll swing for two. And play pretty sure. What should our opponent do about that? Not all those hoes. We draw life. So we just here would be nice. But they probably have counter. We'll instead buff the map. Throwing Night in Graveyard. Buff again. Throwing Vayner for in Graveyard. We'll swing to Exile Vayner for. Shoot, they try to kill it. But before they do, we'll talk a clue. And turn those off into Vayner for. So that we can drain them for two. How wonderful. Wait, now he must pass. Opponent suspiciously passes. Land okay. We'll try to draw out the counter. No surprise. And they buff. Swing for three. And now six lands. Attempt Vayner for. And Vayner for hits. Our opponent must be devastated. Oh, Cathilda. For attacking from vampires is certainly annoying. Crack a map and draw a land. Crack another map. And draw another land. Crack a clue to draw a card. And I'm pretty sure. We'll play it. And now he's got to deal with his Cathilda. Honestly, Wanderer. And they push for five. You can't block. Ooh, and Fatal Push. But the problem is Cathilda's backside. Which gives a creature Cathilda's abilities. I think we gotta take a bigger risk here. Swing with both. Please block. Oh, shoot, they don't block. That puts us in a really bad spot. We'll attempt wipe. Oh, Jesus, the spell caller. So we can only Fatal Push something for two mana here. Phantom. Well, here's. We'll pay it. Oh, they sack Wazzle and Wanderer. At least we drain them. Play Knight. And start praying. They clap us right. And darn it, land. It'll be tough to force them to block here. And they both need a And swing out. Oh boy, they flash the spell caller. Opponent blocks like that. We'll pump her knight. And get a nutload of triggers. So we're back at 13. Good hill is now 3 3. Opponent's forced to pass. Ooh, and hit'll push. And we hive. And we devolve. We'll swing out. And despite racism, we are victorious. And now we're off to fight racism in the next match. Opening hand, no, but we do have the combo sort of keep. We'll start with knight. Oh, that's not a land. So we'll have to pass. And it's the Amalia combo deck. There's a land. We'll first swing. Play Soren. And put out Vayner for. But they could combo off any moment. They just need life gain. And they're explore creature, but they don't have it. Instead, they play voice, which makes it hope when it dies. Or if we play a spell on their turn, Daddy has a plan. And make me vault. Sack of Soren. No, oh, our opponent concedes. So game two already. Okay, so we're gonna turn two. Opening is pretty strong. But two animas and Vayner for a bit much. We'll mull. Also a little risky, but we'll keep. And pray we draw more lands. Ooh, there's one. With we'll Hussies. Dang. They have Walker and Amalia. So if they find any life gain, or just clapped. We'll risk it and take Horde. And pray we survive long enough. They play Amalia. Shark 
to impress. We'll hold up our stuff and pass. We take two. We play walker. We'll cycle to try and find the land. Ooh, that's found the land. Who that is? Because it's better safe than pregnant. We'll wipe now. How wonderful. Uh oh, clock a company. Only finding a faction special, so we we'll bring back walker. And with that other Amali in hand, they can pop off on their turn. We'll land for us, nice. We'll put up a shirt and hold up hush. There's Amalia. Oh, this shock. I play that person. We'll push Amalia. We play this, that's good. No cards in their hand. But if they top deck something good, we're in trouble. Ooh, kind of spores. Triggering Walker to gain them life. And they pass. Another the land for us. We'll play Preacher and pass. Innkeeper. We gain them life on their tough hunters. Land for us. And as risky as this is, I say we swing out. Making a weenie. A oh, haunt takes it. We'll hold up Shark Nail and pass. Kind of swings. We'll cycle like a 4 4. Take out the specialist. And he just goes as a zombie. Ew. That's not good. Because when Amalia enters, they gain life. Amalia explores. And they pop off. Amalia becomes a 2020 in board wipes. They ran at their creatures. So, yep, I think they have us. We'll have to settle things game three. Opening hands a little slinky. But we can shut off their life gain, so we'll keep. We'll toss these. They have Dinah. The combo with life gain. Tell them to dig. Oh, we have to take company. They make a map. And push nice. Now, no life gain for them. They pick Helen. Vayner for sure. Do we want to Helen, though? We really don't want them digging. We'll first swing and pump. And we will push. Uh oh, a shock. Playing Sentinel. So make another map. Thought sees. Oh, jeez. Skyclave exiles are night. Oh, we gotta take Collect a Company. Because number three. They dig with a map and make another. And we lose our night. One wiener later. They play Walker. And Dinah. They're running us down to seven. So they must certainly have us. Very tragic. But it happens sometimes. So in the next match, we're putting in Somali again. We won a game, but unfortunately, we did not win the match. So tragic. So there we have it. If only we had played one more night. But other than that, Daddy found the deck really schmexy. And I hope you big boys did as well. If you would like to see more content like this, be sure to fondle that subscribe button. And until next time, stay to me thick.